I absolutely love getting a new package of yarn in the mail, especially when it's a brand new yarn. And this one is UU Yarns Heathers Heathers, and it's their original colors that have been heathered. And they are absolutely gorgeous, really wearable colors. So I got all 10 colors, so 10 skeins, and then I realized I need to make room for this yarn in my yarn cabinet. But look at it, it's a complete mess. I don't know where it's gonna go. And I've got projects piled up everywhere. This needs to be cleaned up. However, one thing I've learned over the past year is that I don't do anything alone. This is my friend Maggie, and she does everything with me. We walk together, we sleep together. She likes to get involved in my photos and even when I'm working on my computer, there she is making herself extremely comfortable. So here we go with our yarn organizing. The first thing I notice is that my plant needs some TLC. So I'm gonna take it to the kitchen, give it a good drink of water and trim some of those yellow leaves. After taking care of my plant, I bring in all of my new yarns that I just received so that I can see everything I need to make room for in my yarn cabinet. And I love to keep my projects in these cotton knitting totes or cotton bags. And I go through them to make sure that everything that I have in the bags are projects that I'm still going to work on. In fact, this bag, I realize it's lots of projects that are completed or that I'm not going to be doing anything with. In fact, I found lots of half-used skeins in the bottom of this bag. So I'm gonna clear that out and make room for another work in progress in that tote. Here's a project that I still wanna finish. I really like it. Just need to get back to knitting it. Oh, and this is a big project that I'm working on for my daughter. It's kind of a surprise, so I'm gonna put that aside so she doesn't see it. And then any skeins that are already opened, I'm gonna put aside and save them for another project. Now this tote I'm gonna use for a project that I've been working on for a while and I'll be going back to it soon. I've got lots of needles laying around, so let's take care of those and put those away. I keep those, all my needles, especially my interchangeable sets, in a cabinet next to my desk. Now that empty knitting tote I showed you a minute ago is going to hold this baby blanket that's almost done and soon to be a new video. So keep an eye out for that one, it's really cute. So I'm gonna put that in my large bag and just continue cleaning off the top of this shelf, putting projects away. That's a project using Knit Picks Felici Worsted. It's a quick little hat. I'm going to be showing that to you soon. But I'm going to just stash it away for now. I can't believe how many different projects I've started and stopped halfway through that I need to finish and just need to get organized in bags and get off of the top of my cabinet. Wow, that really cleans things up a lot by just moving out my work in proje progress projects. Do you have tons of work in progress projects that you need to get finished or you've started and just stopped for whatever reason? Well, I do. And this is, um, these are some baby booties. I made some knitted hats a little while back and I've started some baby booties that coordinate with them, but I'm just gonna leave them in that basket because I think it looks really cute on top of my cabinet. and. 
I'll put those little hearts that I made for February in the basket. This is a crochet scarf project that I need to find a little home for. So I'll just move it off to the side for right now. I'm not going to put that in a tote. And now it's time to start organizing my cabinet. So most of these items are just going to get cleaned out. I'm just going to, you know, take them all out so that I can make sense of everything that I need to get organized. And I like to keep like things together. Some people like to organize by color, but for me, I like to organize by the product first. So if it's all the same type of yarn, I put those together, then I organize them by color. And it really helps me if I just organize everything by color, like all the pinks together, all the blues together, I end up with all these different yarn weights and I can't really figure out what I'm going to make with them. So I like to keep like things together so I know, oh, I have five skeins of this particular yarn. And then I like to keep weights together. That is more important to me than keeping the colors together. Here are some other tips I like to keep in mind when organizing my yarn stash. First of all, is your yarn stash working for you or are you just hoarding yarn that you're never going to use? So if you have yarn that you've had for 10 or 15 or even more years, I doubt you're going to use it. So why not get rid of it and clear out some space for some yarn that you actually love. You can donate the yarn, you can take it to Goodwill, or you can sell it, or you can just throw it away. I mean, I hate to say it, but sometimes you just need to get rid of it. And make room for yarns that are actually going to serve you today. And yarns, just like fashion, have trends. So 15 to 18 years ago, fun furs were like the really in trend. And then we had sparkle yarns and we've, we've had lots of trends in knitting. And right now there's lots of plain knitting, there's self-striping yarns. Those are the in trends. So fill your yarn stash with those types of yarns and the yarns that you work with on an everyday basis so that they will serve you in the long run. That way, it's just like opening up your closet. Things go in and out of fashion. You have styles that you wore 20 years ago that you're never gonna wear again, and you take those out of your closet. Or if you haven't worn them in two or three years, you take them out of your closet. It's the same thing with yarn. You're gonna remove the items that aren't serving you anymore, and you're gonna replace it with new, refreshed, products that will spark your creativity and allow you to make projects that you really, really love. So I'm going through this process and I'm filling in my cabinet with yarns that I know that I'm going to use. And actually, while I'm filling it in, I love thinking of how am I going to use this yarn? What is this yarn going to be? It's a very exciting time. It totally revitalizes me and refreshes me, even though it is kind of a pain in the neck to do all of this yarn organizing. It is a task that I really enjoy because it gets my creative juices flowing. If you feel like this when you're going through your yarn stash, give me a thumbs up in the comments or just tell me yes in the comments. Now on the top of my cabinet, you may notice all of these random skeins that are sitting there. And that is for a longer term project. What I'd like to do is take all of my yarn stash and work on a few stash buster projects because I know as knitters, we talk about stash buster projects, but it's not always clear what to do with them. So I'm gonna build up my yarn stash of all of these half open skeins, half used skeins, and create a project or two so that you know what to do with them when you have these laying around. So here is my finished cabinet that Maggie and I have worked very hard to complete and I hope that it's inspired you to organize your yarn stash and I'll see you in the next video.